When I was a kid, one of my favorite games is Warcraft. And as I grew older, I played StarCraft, StarCraft 2. And overall, I just think Activision is a great company. Hey, Eric here, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about another gaming stocks, and in this case is Activision and Blizzard, uh, and how I made $11,000 from Activision and Blizzard stock crash, and the analysis on ATVI, Diablo, Bungie, and Destiny. So this video is going to focus on around the news um, of Activision and Blizzard. Now, so before we start, I just want to celebrate another success story from Investing Accelerator where Lisa sold her position in Ulta Beauty and she made a 55% gain in three months using the strategy I taught her. So congratulations, Lisa, you did it. Looking forward to your next success. So Activision and Blizzard, another gaming stocks, you know, one of the blue chip gaming stocks in the market. You know, the stock actually dropped quite a bit. And here is a news article on December 8th, 2018, you know, kind of noting that Activision and Blizzard dropped 28% in November 2018. So to really understand the stock, I need to bring you back to March 2018. If you look at the stock charts for the last four years, from 2014 to 2018, you will realize that Activision has grown a lot. It went from $17 to $84. That is a 400% increase in stock price in five years. So Activision has been a fantastic investment. If you have been holding Activision for that long, congratulations, you have made quite a significant amount of profit. Now, most people are using the old model of investing. That means they're buying and holding. They are not really looking at it and they don't you know, think about timing and they just kind of make 7% a year from the market. And that's exactly when the horror story happened. The drop, the plummet, and within five months, Activision dropped from $84 to $44, representing a 48% drop in stock price. So it's quite significant. So if you have 100,000 in Activision and Blizzard, you only have 50,000 at the end of five months. So what happened? Why did it happen? And that's what this video is about. So the best way to understand it is really to look at news. And you will see that there's a lot of news article and YouTube videos talk about why Activision is dropping. And there are mainly three reasons. So number one, Diablo. Now Activision Blizzard itself has a lot of good or even great franchises such as World of Warcraft, Warcraft, Starcraft, Destiny, and so on. And one of the most popular games is Diablo. Blizzard announced that they're going to release a new Diablo game. And most of the users for Diablo are actually desktop owners. They are all about PC. And, you know, there's a famous saying that there's PC Master Race and so on. Um, so when they released Diablo, the latest version is a mobile game called Diablo Immortal. That shocked a lot of people. You know, the fans are not aware of it because they're actually expecting Diablo 4. So then a lot of people got angry and considered that to be a bad move. So here I'm actually going to replay one of the videos here on YouTube. And you can see how people are responding negatively to this game. And there's actually a meme that came out of uh, this conference uh, which talks about is this an out of season April Fool joke. So let's play that video now. We want to use mobile devices as the platform for a new Diablo game. Hey, uh, just was wondering, is this uh, an out-of-season April Fool's joke? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a fully uh, 
fully-fledged uh, Diablo experience on, on mobile, which everybody will get to play. As you can see, there's actually a lot of negative press around Diablo Immortal, the mobile game. So that is one of the leading cause uh, for the price drop and the, and the price crash. Now, another reason for the industry, they actually experienced a lot of changes in regulation. For example, Belgium banned loot boxes, and during that time, Take-Two, Activision, and Blizzard, and e Electronic Arts um, used loot boxes as like a secondary source of income after selling the game. So you can think of it, you buy the game, and then you have like a recurring revenue stream where people just keep buying loot boxes to get special skins, special items in the game. So it is actually quite lucrative for Activision and Blizzard and other gaming companies um, to sell loot boxes. And during that time, there was a lot of fear around countries banning loot boxes because they think it's a gambling uh, mechanism. Uh, so they don't want to encourage that. And if you watch my other videos on EA, you notice that I go a little bit more in depth about this topic. So that's the second reason for the price drop. Now the third reason for the price drop is really one of the gaming studios underneath Activision, which is Bungie, um, is being sold and separated from Activision and Blizzard. So you can think of Activision Blizzard as like an umbrella and underneath it, there are a lot of companies uh, within this uh, company. So there's like Activision, there's Blizzard, there's Bungie, and for Bungie, it actually owns uh, quite a few important games, including Halo and Destiny. So if you don't know what Destiny is, is a first person online multiplayer shooter that is the best Steam title in 2019. So if you look at the left bottom screenshot there, you'll see um, I screenshots that Destiny 2 is Steam's best selling title in 2019. So by selling Bungie, the studio and Destiny 2, um, obviously that is gonna hit Activision and Blizzard. So it's not very positive for Activision, given that such a strong game is leaving uh, the company. So these three reasons are really the key driver that drove down uh, Activision's stock price. And what is the key lesson? The key lesson is really uncertainty leads to a drop in stock price. And in, the, and in this case, these three uncertain events has led to the fall of 40 something percent, 48 percent in five months for Activision and Blizzard. And that's why investing is so difficult because you wouldn't know ahead of time that the stock price is gonna drop so much. So it's time to switch over to the new model of investing. And we need to really take a step back. It's time to do your homework and to ask ourselves, is the stock price drop reasonable? Is the price crash for Activision reasonable? And you know, for my own approach, I actually do analysis over technical, fundamental, strategy, products, news, forecasts, valuation, and so on. And in this video, we're gonna focus again on news, uh, which is the best way to understand the story of the stock itself. I think the key question when you're looking at Activision is that whether the company will do the right thing. And I think that's actually quite an important question because sometimes the company will not do the right thing. Maybe they are blinded by greed. Growing up with Activision and Blizzard, I actually have a lot of faith in this company. Um, I play their games like Diablo, Warcraft is one of my favorite games. Um, I actually play Assassin's Creed, which there's a lot of mixed comments on that game. But I know that as a company, they will do the right thing. So I actually have a lot of faith in Activision and Blizzard. That's when the change happened. And Diablo 4, a desktop game for Diablo, which is what everyone was expecting, was released on BlizzCon on November 1st, 2019. If I backtrack, initially in 2018, they released Diablo Immortal, which is the mobile version of the game, and got a ton of negative press, stock price drop, and then afterwards, Blizzard took that feedback and developed and released Diablo 4. And that is released on BlizzCon November 1st, 2019. And you can see that um, 
that's a screenshot there. But what's important is when I invested in Activision and Blizzard, I did not know they were going to release Diablo 4. So how do you capture this unexpected event of Blizzard releasing Diablo 4? And it goes back to the question that I asked you earlier. Do you think Activision and Blizzard will do the right thing? And if you do, then the release of Diablo 4 will be inevitable. So let me take you to the quarter four of 2019. So um, the stock price increased by quite a bit, which is approximately 25%. And it went from $44 to approximately $54 where I make the first exit and $59 where I made the second exit. So that, if you look at the screenshots, that is the gain that I captured. And here is actually a screenshot from my broker TD Ameritrade where I invested 18,000 in this stock alone and I made a gain of 11,000 which translates to 62%. So if you compare that to the stock price of 25% then you'll realize I actually made more than the stock price increase and that is really because I used an advanced strategy called stock options to multiply my profits so then my gain is 62% at 11,000. So here you can actually see the screenshot of how I exit, when I exit, and how much I exit uh, for Activision and Blizzard. It's important to note that when I entered into the stock market, you know, for Activision and Blizzard, I entered when it was the most bleak time ever. You know, there are three consecutive bad news, the sale of Bungie, Diablo Immortal, and the regulation change within the gaming industry and at that point I did not know that Diablo 4 will be released and unless you have some sort of insider information you will never know that Diablo 4 will be released but it is one of the key catalysts for the stock price to go back up. So this is actually how I take advantage of the stock market and be ahead of other investor It's because I know the company very well and that's giving me a competitive advantage. So let me go back to the key lesson, which is really the key question. And I, that if, if, if you're not taking away anything from this video, this is the one thing you need to take away uh, from this video is, will Activision do the right thing? And if you believe that Activision will do the right thing, coupled with your research based on facts, timing in the market, a way to multiply your profits, then it is inevitable that the stock price will go up again because they will ultimately do the right thing. They will satisfy the fans and especially the gaming community, which is quite hard to satisfy. And, you know, they can uh, make videos and make it go viral and so on. So if they will do the right thing, ultimately, they will be rewarded by the gamers. And ultimately, the stock price will go up again because the performance of the company will improve. So... A lot of people think that, well, you need to predict the future, Eric. Um, but that is not necessarily true to make money in the markets. What you need is to have a very, very good understanding of the company that you know you like and you trust, like Activision and Blizzard. And then you need to couple that with techniques of entering into the market, doing research, and multiplying your profits um, so then you can be successful and have an edge over majority of the investors. So are you interested in learning how to time the market better? Uh, so if that's the case, my name is Eric Sido and my mission is really to help people without a financial background to master investing and target 30% from the market using an hour a day. Uh, so it's a pretty passive strategy and this is done through an online coaching program called Investing Accelerator. So some of the success stories we have in Investing Accelerator, including Tony, he made 50% from Ulta Beauty, Arian, he made 79% from Square in five months, and Benson, he made 100% from AMD in a year. So if that's something that interests you, then you can attend the free training on my website, uh, which is 5minuteinvesting.com slash free dash case dash study. So you can see the screenshot below and you can actually sign up and watch it right now. And then afterwards, if you think you are a good fit for the program, then you can schedule a call with me and we can chat about uh, whether the program will be right for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you click the link to watch the free training. And if you like this video, 
click like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. You know, do you like Activision and Blizzard? What is your favorite game for Activision and Blizzard? And if you know that Activision has a new game coming up, please let me know because I'll be very excited to play it or even invest in it. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please help support me by like, subscribe, and you can watch the next recommended video here as well. So I'll see you in the next one.